Jesus is here. Amen. Praise the living God. Amen. I'm happy to see you in the house of God. I'm blessed and honored to be before you and before God Amen. so that we can share his word. Asante sana praise and worship. Kwa kipindi hicho, wacha munga zidi kuwa inua. Na wakaribisha katika ibada hii, karibuni sana patakatifu pa yesu. Wana watutazama katika mtandao, karibu sana, unapotaka kututafuta, utatupata manyata kona mbaya ragia PAG. Karibu, tukaweze kushiriki nawe neno la mwenyezi mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Amen. Habari ya last week? Habari ya last Sunday? Muzuri. Muzuri. Okay. Pango ilikuwa wow. Kwa sababu ilinitoa mahali, ika nisongesha mahali pengine. Hallelujah. Amen. And that was my prayer kwamba hiyo wiki katika mkutano ule wa revival ikaweze kukutoa mahali ikusongeshe mahali na imani Mungu aliachilia neno lake na kusudi and we are still there we are still overcoming the spirit of stagnation and delay i believe i promised you last sunday kwamba tumekuwa na evangelist amekusisimua amekuchochea ukasema amen 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 nyinge amen amen akakusukuma mpaka ukaomba sana na leo hii nataka nikufundishe nikufanye uelewe ujue na uendelee mbele Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo karibuni tunaposoma our text Deuteronomy Chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. Dreamu yetu ya mwaka ni kwamba moving on. Kuendelea mbele. Na hatuwezi kuendelea mbele nikiwa tumeguama. We cannot move forward when we are stagnant. Lazima tuondoe huyo roo wakukuama ili tuweze kuendelea mbele. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa wala mbao menisahau na etu wa mchungaji Rosemary Mayende, nikiwa mchungaji wa maale hapa. Wageni karibuni, wenyeji karibuni. Tunasoma Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6 and 7. Neno la mungu linasema hivi. Wana mungu wetu alituambia huko horebu, akasema, mulivyo kaa katika mlima huu, ya tosha. Geukeni mshike safari yenu muende inchi ya milima ya waamori na mahali pote palipo karibu na hapo. Katika hiyo araba na inchi ya vilima vilima na huko shefela na negebu na pwani pwani inchi ya wakanani na lebanoni mpaka mto huo mkubwa wa frati. Na mungu wa bariki neno lagi. Wana yesu wa sifiwe. Amen. Kitabu hiki ama maneno ambayo tumeyasoma maale hapa. Alie ya andika ama alie ya kusanya. Or whoever compiled these words ni Moses. Ambaye alie andika vitabu vya kwanza vitano vya biblia. Na alipokuwa akiandika haya maneno alinakili ili akaweze kuwa ya msaada ndani ya maisha yetu wa Kristo wa leo na akakumbuka mambo yaliyofanyika katika kutoka Exodus wakati wana wa Israeli walikuwa wanatoka nchi ya utumwa wakienda nchi ya haji walipotembea katika jangwa wakatembea katika hali ngumu wakatembea wakizunguka zunguka wakafika mahali pa mlima horebu chini yake pale 
wakakaa mali pale wakatulia na wakakosa kujua kwamba yafaa waendelee kuenda mbele wakao wamekwama mali pale lakini kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa na kusudi wafike kanani ndipo sa aliwarejelea akaambia Musa kwamba ambia wana wa Israeli hapo mahali mmekaa ya tosha imefika wakati wasimame waendelee mbele kwa sababu mbele kuna mema kwa sababu mbele Mungu ameandaa jambo kwa sababu huko mbele kuna territories kubwa mingi mbele kuna opportunities mbele kuna mengi yanawangojea Bwana Yesu asifiwe kabla tuenda hapo mbali wacha tuweze kutafakari na kujua haya maneno ambayo yako kwa timu yetu yanamaanisha nini ili tuweze kujua jinsi tutakavyotoka mahali tumekwama delay delay najua unaelewa lakini nataka nikukumbushe tu kwamba delay is something happening at a later time than organized or planned time kitu ambayo inafanyika ni inafanyika kwa wakati ambao umechelewa sio ule ulipangwa kama ilipangwa kwamba itakuwa saa tatu, wewe umefika saa sita, ama umefika saa saba. hiyo umechelewa ndio umekuja lakini umechelewa bwana yesu asifiwe ndio umepata lakini umechelewa kwa hivyo that is delay ndio wakati mwingine tunatiwa moyo na hata mimi nawatia moyo kwamba delay is not denial yes but delay is a weapon of the devil kuchelewa ni silaha ambayo shetani anaitumikia katika maisha yetu kama watoto wa Mungu kwa hivyo jaribu sana jaribu sana katika maisha yako uondoke katika hali ya kuchelewa kwa sababu kuchelewa kutakukosesha baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe supposing you are going for an interview na interview mliambiwa mufike by 8:30 by 9 interview itakuwa on na wewe unaingia saa 4 utafanya interview si baraka imekuwaje kwa hivyo delay Though delay is not denial but delay is a weapon used by the devil to make us stagnant usikubali kuchelewa stagnation what is stagnation si tunajua stagnation tunajua ile hali ya kukwama the state of not flowing not moving In other words this lack of growth or development stagnation is the state of not flowing not moving umekwama kukwama umepandwa ukamea na ukapeleka tap root na imeenda kuenda and there's no moving forward or backward you are stagnant so it's the state of not flowing in other words is the situation in which something stays the same and does not grow or advance or progress it is that state ambapo kitu imebaki tu hapo haikui kienda juu hai advance kuchukua space na hata hai progress kuenda mbele it is that state and that is what we are talking about stagnation stagnation puts you in that state Where you cannot grow, you cannot develop, you cannot advance, you cannot progress. It's a very bad state. I believe it's a very bad state. And we must overcome it. We must come out of it. We might be there na hatujui tuko mahali pale. Kwa hivyo Mungu atusaidie tugundue kwamba tuko mahali pale tumegwama ili tukaweze kusonga na kuendelea mbele. in life and in real life it means the lack of growth and development hakika uko pale pale hata kazi unafanya biashara unafanya lakini biashara yako ilibaki ni kuchoma mahindi tangu 2013 
Mbaka imefika 2023, 2024 inakuja, wewe kazi yako bado tu ni kuchoma mahindi. Ulikuwa unaenda sokoni unachukua mahindi ya shilingi ni ya moja, shilingi ni ya mbili, shilingi ni ya tatu, na mpaka leo bado unaenda kuchukua mahindi ya shilingi ni ya tatu. Hata iliongeza bei, sasa mahindi ni ya tatu siku ile ilikuwa mahindi ishirini, lakini leo mahindi ya ni ya tatu imefika mahindi saba, sasa inabidi unachukua mahindi ngapi? Saba. You are stagnant. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati mwingine kuna stagnation even in the church. Church growth might be stagnant. Na unajua kama wanadamu macho yetu nataka kuona vitu vikubwa, alafu unafikiria uko sawa. Kama kanisa imekuwa na watu kumi, na inakaa na watu kumi, for the next five years tunaita namna gani? Stagnated church. Lakini kama church iko na watu mia, na itakaa na watu mia for the next five years tutaitaje? Ayo kanisa ni kubwa. Kanisa ni kubwa. Ayo kanisa ni kubwa. Tuko tu watu mia. Mwaka moja tuko mia. Mwaka ile ya pili tuko mia. Mwaka ile tuko mia tunachanga vitu zetu zote. Hatuna hesabu ya kupiga ya kuongeza vitu vingine. Hiyo kanisa imekuwa. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sisi kwa fungu tunaongoza. Tunatoaga 50,000 mwezi wa kwanza 50, wa pili 50, mpaka mwaka inaisha 50. Mnaitwa watu wa 50. You are stagnant. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo usione kama uko mahali pazuri na ikabaki katika hiyo lebo ya uzuri for long, ukafikiria uko sawa. Bado there is something to be done. Hallelujah. An example of stagnation tulipewa hapa na tukaambiwa maji. Ukipata mali walichimba. Labda watu wa kutengeneza barabara walipita wakachimba mara. Na mvua ikanyesha ikajaza maji. Na hiyo maji imekaa hapo mpaka imerudi imekuwa ni mto ni jina tu haijapewa. Hiyo maji inaitwa stagnant water. Na ukienda mahali kama hapo, sehemu around na hiyo maji, nataka nikuambie stagnant water is dangerous to the society. Stagnant water is dangerous to the community. Kwa sababu katika hiyo maji kuna umbu. Umbu wataleta malaria na mtagonjeka wazima na wadogo. Katika hayo maji wakati mwingine inamea kitu kingine ya green juu. Inaitwa nini kikwenu? Dihara. Inamea kitu kingine green juu. Ukiwa mbali utaona ni kama ni kiwanja mzuri sana. Na ukikuja kama umechanganyikiwa na hii enzi ya saa hizi yenye watu wamechanganyikiwa na hali ya maisha unatembea ukienda na hujafikiria uangalie vizuri utashtukia umetumbukia ndani kwa sababu unafikiria unatembea kwa kiwanja it is dangerous katika hayo maji kuna wanyama wanaishi ndani na hao wanyama wakati mwingine ni hatari katika hayo maji ambayo ya stagnant Watu huwa wengine na kuenda kutupa ndani. Na katika hayo maji pia wakati stress imekupanda imekufika kwa akili unaamua nimechoka na kuisha kuishi katika dunia hii unafanya nini? Unaenda kujitupukiza ndani na kukata maisha yako. So stagnant water is dangerous. In other words, stagnant life is dangerous. Kwa sababu katika hali hiyo utajipata katika hali ambayo si mzuri. Spirit of stagnation. We are overcoming the spirit of stagnation. Ndio gani? It is the force of retardation that makes the past of a person better than the present. Ni spirit ambayo inakurudisha nyuma. The a force a force ni kitu kingine yenye huoni 
kuna kuwa na force nyingine yenye inakusukuma na hiyo force uionye sasa nyingine uielewi but this force of stagnation this spirit of stagnation is a force of retardation retarded growth retarded move retardation umekwama mali pale yani inafanya somebody's past inakuwa better than today lakini kitu tunapotua siku zote ni kwamba inatakana kesho yangu ikuwe better than leo na leo yangu ikuwe better than yesterday lakini nafika mahali penye unapata ukikaa unakaa katika kumbukumbu unakaa katika hali ya historia unakaa na kukumbuka siku zile tulikuwa tuki siku zile kanisa letu lilikuwa limechangamuka siku zile kanisa letu lilikuwa limejaa wetu sisi hatukuwa tunalala njaa kwetu tulikuwa hatukuli mboga mara mbili kwetu ilikuwa ilikuwa yani kwenu na ile maisha uliishi siku ile ni tofauti na ni better than today ujue kuna shida bwana yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo that force tuliambiwa hapa na evangelist kwamba inapatikana namna gani ama inajipataje ndani ya maisha yetu that force inapatikana kwa maisha yetu wakati mwingine wakati watu waliongea maneno ndani ya maisha yako somebody talked negatively mtu alitupa laana ndani ya maisha yako mtu akasema endeni nimewakuruhusu muende lakini haleluya kwa maisha yako if there is a but there is nothing but like a but lakini hata kama umekosea mwenzako ama mwenzako amekukosea tuseme nimekukosea shamazi na nikuje nikuambie na kuomba unisamee yale nilifanya kwako sioni kama ni mzuri roho yangu inahukumika kwamba nimekukosea nisamee lakini utaniambia pasta nimekusamee lakini unapoongeza lakini that thing is not good Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndiposa hata tukaambiwa hapa katika Wakorinzo kwamba mlango wangu umefunguliwa mkubwa sana kwa kuingia ndani na niende katika baraka zangu na niende katika yale ambayo nimeahidiwa na nimeenda katika yale ambayo Mungu ameniandalia. Lakini kunao wengi ambao wamefanya nini? Wananizuilia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo that spirit might come through spoken words kwa watu wengine kwa maisha yako na hujui nani ameongea nini kwako si lazima ukwambie wewe 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 utaona a a kuna tu nyenye mtu anakuongelea anakuongelelea nyuma na hujui amesema nini hayo maneno yako na nguvu words of power na hizo ndio zinaleta nguvu za retardation na, 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 na stagnation ndani ya maisha yetu. Wakati mwingine tunalaumu watu na si watu. Ni wewe mwenyewe umeongea. Ni wewe mwenyewe umeshinda ukidiklea. Mimi siwezi. Mimi sitaweza. Na mimi ni nini? Ai, mimi tu. Hiyo nayo siwezi. Unapotamka na kinywa chako uwezi, mpendwa hutaweza. Itabaki hautaweza. Hiyo force itashinda kikuhukumu kwa sababu I told you some day here kwamba you are a prophet of yourself. Kila wakati unapoongea, ongea something positive ukijua kwamba you are prophesizing for in your own life. Lakini ukianza kusema siwezi mimi tu, sasa mimi hata mimi siwezi. Wakikwambia mama tunataka leo utuongojee hii dara ya wamama haina kiongozi. Eh, mimi <laughs> mimi siwezi. Mimi hata sinanga hiyo uwezo. Mimi hata utapaki uwezi na hakuna siku utakuwa kiongozi na hata uzao wako hautaongoza. God forbid. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kwa hivyo chunga maneno unayoyaongea. Na unaoongea chochote, that spirit of stagnation inaweza jengea kwa hiyo maneno na upate imekuandaa. We talked of your past kuwa better than your present. Alafu wakati your past imekuwa better than your present, unashinda ukidwell in the past. Unashinda ukigwama in the past. 
unapofanya hivyo nataka nikuambie kwamba hautasonga kwa sababu kila wakati you are not focused to the forward you are focused to the back na unapobaki umeangalia huku hakuna venye utatembea ukienda mbele na mgongo yako imeangalia huku no wonder Mungu akatengeneza hata mwili wako kwamba umeangalia mbele yafaa uendelee kuenda mbele so if you stay and dwell in the past itamaanisha umegeuza mgongo umetoka to the front umeangalia wapi na utazidi kurudi nyuma na unapozidi kurudi nyuma ile past yenye uliwacha huko hautaipata ilisha pita it's not there so can you dwell on the future dwell on today and tomorrow so that your life may not be stagnated and what does the word of god say about the past somebody read isaiah 43:18 For those who like dwelling in the past na kutoa ushuhuda waliopita tulikuwa tukiomba tulikuwa tukiomba tulikuwa tukitoa tulikuwa tukifanya tulikuwa tukienda tulikuwa tunafanya those who dwell in the past Isaiah 43:18 inasema nini Mimi amepata sob Sector Japan Yes. Forget the former things. Don't dwell on the past. That is the word of God. Kwamba forget the former things, but dwell on the present and the future. Don't dwell on the past. Why? Doing so causes you to get stuck where you are. Unaposhinda ukifikiria nyuma, hautasonga hata hatua mbele, utagwama pale pale na utaendelea kujitoriate na kubaki a nothing. Then utakuwa a nobody, wewe mwenyewe utajiida nobody, watu wengine watakuita a nothing. And it's not pleasing to the ears. Sijui kama wewe itakufurahisha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wana wa Israeli walifanya hivyo. Walishinda wakisema Musa alitutoa huko kwa nini? Huko hata kama tulikuwa tunafanya kazi ngumu, tulikuwa tunakula. Huko hata kama tulikuwa tunangangana tukitengeneza bricks, tulikuwa tunakunywa maji tukisikia kiu. Na huko kwenye tulitoka, hata kama tungekufa, kulikuwa na makaburi, tulikuwa tunazikwa. Kwa sababu hiyo walikwama katika jangwa. Walizungukia katika jangwa for 40 good years nataka nikuambie safari ya kutoka Misri kwenda Canaan it was ya 14 days just for a 40 night 14 days wangetoka huko na wafike kule kwingine but because they did not focus to Canaan walikaa wakageuka wakaangalia nyuma wakasema afadhali kule afadhali kule afadhali kule ilibidi wakakaa mahali pale muda mrefu sana nataka kuwatarisha watoto wa Mungu tuache kuangalia huko nyuma kwenye tumetoka acha kuangalia maisha yako mahali imekuwa jaribu kufikiria hapa mbele unataka ikuwe namna gani na unapofikiria omba Mungu kifanya bidii utachoka katika ile matope na utasonga mbele wana wa Israeli walitembea katika jangwa kwenye kuna mchanga tu na hiyo mchanga ni moto kwa sababu jua inawaka hakuna mvua na wakaona maisha ni ngumu katika jangwa walipofika katika mlima wa Horebu wakapata mahali pale mnajua mahali kuna vilima vilima at least kuna vegetation at least kuna kabris at least kuna uwepo wa Mungu mahali pale at least maji yanatoka milimani wakikunywa wakawa na basi tumefika haleluya bwana Yesu asifiwe kumbe walikuwa hawajafika bado walikuwa yafa waendelee na safari but to end stagnation something must be done hallelujah Amen. for the stagnation to end in your life something must be done for the stagnation to end in the life of the israelites 
Something was to be done. Now what was to be done is is the mali penye to mesoma. Iko mali pale ambapo to mesoma Deuteronomy chapter 1 in verse 7. Baada ya kuambiwa hapa mali mmeka, mmeka muda mrefu sana ya tosha. Now you have to do something. What is this that you are supposed to do? Turn geukeni mkaeleke na muendelee na safari. Inapatikana pia katika hiyo Deuteronomy 2 verse 3. Turn to your notes and continue with your journey. My dear, for that stagnation to end in your life, you must turn. Badilishako akili yako, fikiri yako in a new way. Fanyako vitu in a new way. Lakini ukibaki pale pale, hata unapu ambia tuende uku, nasema apana, Sisi unajua sisi tumezoea kuendanga huku. Wacha tuende kwa huku hii na kuwa raisi. Aha, aha, hiyo hako sisi ya tuone kama sisi tumezoea kuendanga huku. Mutabaki hapo hapo. Mwana yesu wa sifiwe. Hallelujah. It is not my prayer that we remain there. My prayer is that we turn as a church. We turn as a family of Christ. Tubadilike, tugeuke, tuangalie north. Na tuendele na safari. Tuende kwa opportunities. Kwa sababu kuna territories mingi tumezoma mali pale. Ambapo walikuwa wakeuke na waweze kuenda ndani. Verse 7. Jisome kwa bibili yako kama ukonai. Geuke ni mshika safari yenu muende inji ya milima milima. Ya muamori. Na mahali pote palipo karibu na hapo. Sikia. Mahali pote palipo na hapo. Katika hiyo araba. Na inji ya milima milima. Na huko shefela. Yani enda. Milango zimefunguka mbele mingi mpendwa. Wacha kukaa chini ukiwa opportunities zako. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And what are the causes of stagnation? What causes people to be stagnant in life? Ni kitu gani hiyo inafanya unagoa mahali huko? Number 1. Feeling satisfied of accomplishment. Yaani unajisikia niko sawa. Pengine ulikuwa unangangana kujenga. Munga kakusaidia, ukapata mabati kume na mbili. Baba yako akakupatia mti. Ukatafuta wa mama, vijana, uko nyumbani, wakakutapitia fito na hizo zingine. Na ukajenga nyumba ya mabati kume na mbili. Nyumba ya mabati kume na mbili inakaji. Si unaijua? Kebo. Kama hii kanisa. Lakini sasa inefinyo pamoja, inefinyo pamoja. Wa, miaka mingi ni meka bila nyumba. Weee. Round hii kumbe ni kienda nyumbani sita lala jikoni. Mako, 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 mako. Kumbe ni mejenga. Ni kienda nyumbani sita kuenda kuomba shikono. Sita kuenda kulala kwa jirani. Ni mejenga. Alafu unaridika. Ni mejenga. Na sumejenga kweli. Sume akambili shikitu. Si huta lala jikoni, si huta enda kulala kwa jirani, si umejenga. You have accomplished something. Na unatulia. Hehe, he, nimesha fika. Unaka town miaka yako yote, mbaka inafika miaka ya kuritaya kurudi nyumbani, bado ukona kebo ya mabati kume na mili. That's why watu wakifikanga nyumbani kwa hiyo miaka, wanakufa raka. Kwa sababu wakipata maisha wanakaa sasa ni ngumu. Kwa sababu walikaa satisfied kwa sababu walisha ajenu. Nataka ni kuambie mambo bado. Unapo tembelea, ukitembea nje ukiangalia. Tembea ukisema nataka kama hii. Unapo songa, unaona ingini, unasema. Ah, ah, ile sasa, ile imerudi nyuma kidogo. Sasa nataka kama hii. Na ulisha ajenga ujue. Sasa endelea kuona maono mengine. Tafutako sasa hata hip. Kuna ile njina maki na mwakika saizi zote. Yalipo kufikiria kuona mbele. Lakini ukikuwama pale mimi, hee, kuetu watu wa wasomangi, watu mwenye meenda mbali sana ni kila six. Vijana wanatoroka wakienda kutafuta vibaruwa juwa kali, kufanya usoja na mengineyo. Wasitano wanatoroka wakienda kufanya umeiti, hawa malizangi hata kila eight. Lakini kwa sababu munga likujalia ukafanya kila eight. Wa, wa, wa. Nimi juu nimesoma katika hii boma. Wa wa hii masomo yangu yote nitafanyia nini? Wa nimefika. Ah ah 
mtoto tunataka uende form 1. Ah, mimi mambo ya form 1 sitaki. Si mimi bora niko na certificate. Nishafanya kila zet at least mimi peke yangu kwa hii boma niko na certificate. Because you have accomplished that primary education and you have a certificate of class A, now you are comfortable. Na kuuliza wewe, hiyo certificate ya class 8 leo inakupeleka wapi? Itakufikisha wapi? Don't be satisfied na mali umefika. Fanya bidi kusonga mbele. Toka mali pale, muangaza hiko mbele. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Another reason that makes people to be stagnant it is being scared of making mistakes. You are scared of making mistakes. Hapa kwenye niko niko sawa. Nikisonga mbele aa naweza fanya makosa. Unajua kuna kuna msichana amefika 18 years. Hello? Kuna nyako amefika what? 18 years. At 18 years, ata serikali nasema you are an adult. Hata kama umepatikana, umeoleka, utachapua kutu kiboko na wanakuwati, wachana na uyo, she's an adult, she, she knows what she wants. Lakini we umetoka 18, umefika 19, umefika 20, uko 23, unendelea 25, lakini wanapo kuliza msichana, kabari yako na kupenda nataka kuwa rafiki yangu ah, mimi sitaki mimi sitaki kupata mimba mimi sitaki ni mambo ina relationship sitafanya nipate mimba na mimi sitaki mimba you don't want to do what to make mistakes hallelujah Amen. you are married katika hiyo ndoa kikaumana kikagongana ikabidi umetoka Na maybe umetoka jenwi ni limpaka hata umetoka na kotini. Kwa sababu koti kiamua this marriage should end. Then imekua ni ya hatari ya kuachana. Kihalali. But we are still 26. Lakini mutu wakikuja mbele yako. Ah, Ndoa apana. Sitaka kufanya makosa yenye nilifanya. Nilifanya makosa. Nika niletea shida. Nimeza mtoto na lea peke yangu. Sitaki kurudia hiyo makosa. Unagwama hapo, you are 30, you are 40, umefika 46. Sali tu umeanza kungangana yawa. Nitapata wapi muma kunyowa haki. Hei jameni, silani ya kotu vizuri kwa maisha yake na mimi. You are scared of making mistakes. And because you are scared, you stagnated where you are. You delayed, and now you are at 40. Unataka kijana nani ya kuowe? Kama utaki buwana ya mutu. Unataka wanani? Tembea na majira. Tembea na wakati. Kufanya kosa, si kosa. Kurudia kosa. Na we mutu mzima ujue sa hile unafanya makosa. Wana yesu asifiwe. Don't be scared. Be bold enough. Know what you want. Make right decisions. Move ahead. Wacha kukwama na kuchelewa. Wacha kufika mali pa ile penye una... Mekumbuka hii. Wacha tunisema. Kuna watu wapa. Wazuri sana. They are very beautiful and handsome. Yes. Tukiwambia halalisha ndoa hawataki. Sijui they are scared because somebody utakuja kupinga hii ndoa yenye imekaa ndani miaka mingi. Wanangoja saa ile ana smile, mta nafikiria na wewe mama analia nini? Anji, sijui nitakuvalishaje hiyo neti. Nimetoka huko. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Siongei kwa Anji, naongea kwa sisi. You are there. The time is now. Usingoje urarukiwe na wakati. I don't know what you are scared of. Munga kusaidie. We talk in that stagnation. Alalisha ndoa yako. Alalisha maisha yako. Nishi maisha ambayo na mpendeza mungu. Kaa katika ndoa ambayo na kubalika. Na mungu na wanadamu. Mwana yesu asifiwe. Uliibua na ukaiba. Ukatoroka usiku kwa dirisha. Ukawacha unga katika tinga tinga. Ukawacha nyungu mtoni. 
Alafu umefika huko you are very comfortable. Stagnated. God forbid. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Sasa nimekuchokoza. Hallelujah. Sinakwambia utoke katika stagnation. Sinakwambia utoke katika delay. Because chelewa chelewa utapata mwana si wako. Others are here. Walibarikiwa na watoto wanaume peke yao. Wakafika mahali wakaogopa. Acha niseme vice versa kwa sababu watu wanapenda wale wengine. Walipe walipata wasichana peke yao. Na hawajapata kijana. Lakini sasa wakiamfikiria Ai hapana sitoi hii kitu. Nikijaribu tena atakuja tu msichana. Nikijaribu tena atakuja tu msichana na niko na wasichana watatu. Na kuambia that man is going to look for another woman to give him a boy child. Haleluya. Saa hata kumi, Mungu akikujalia. Fikia ile lengo lenye mnataka so that fearing being scared of making a mistake of getting another girl child. A girl child is not a mistake. Why are you scared of it? So upate tu mwingine. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And if you don't, mwingine atampa. Na hata kama utaambiwa ningesema hivi lakini God forbid. Omba akufe. Huyo mwanaume. Utaona laini yenye watakuja nyuma huyu ako na wanaume watatu, huyu ako na wanaume wawili, huyu ako na msichana na mwanaume kwa sababu ulikataa kuendelea. You are scared of making mistakes. The worst part of it, cause of stagnation. To me this is the worst. The so called burnout. When you are burnt out and for given up, you are given up. Burnout. Burnout in nini? It's one word. Burnout. Najua wasomi wako hapa. Uchoka. It's a state of complete mental, physical, emotional exhaustion. Umechoka akili, umechoka mwili, umechoka mawazo, umechoka na maisha, umechoka na kila kitu mpaka umefika the so called burnout. Unapofika hapo mpendwa. Kila kitu mzuri ya maana maishani does not mean anything anymore in your life. Yani you have struggled with life. Umengangana na umepampana na maisha. Mbaka umefika mali unajisikia umechoka na umegive up. Sahiyo, unaona kila kitu waifai. Kila kitu waina maana. Inafika mahali, unasikia fulani aliacha kazi. Unasikia ati, ati joji aliacha kazi. Wana alifukuzwa? Hapana. Wali mfuta? Hapana. Kwani miyake yake ilifika? Hapana. Ni kitu gani ilifanyika? Aliwaja tu. That person is not normal. That person is sick. Amefikia burnout. Yana amechoka mpaka hata kitu ya mahana ataki kufanya. Somebody has been applying for job every now and then. Akila haki apply, hakienda kuangalia not shortlisted. Kila anapoenda, anapata not shortlisted. Na mashida za maisha sinendelea kumukumba. Anapo fika mahali, anasema... Mm. Sita apply tena. Wacha tuika hivyo. Yaani kazi tena haina maana ndani ya maisha yako. Hapo umefika burnout. Na hiyo ni hatari. Na hiyo ni ugonjwa. Na hiyo inakuelekeza in serious stagnation. Utagwama kwa sababu hakuna kitu utafanya. Utagwama kwa sababu hakuna kitu unataka kufanya. Umekuwa ni kama mfungwa, umekuwa ni kama zuzu, umekuwa ni kama hauko, ni kama ujitambui. How will you move? You, it will lead you into serious stagnation. Na tutajuache somebody suffering from burnout. What are the signs of burnout? Si ajabu hapa kwetu hata 75% tumefikia burnout. Si ajabu. One sign of burnout there are three. Physical, emotional and behavioral. The physical one. Physical ile ni mwenye unaihisi hata muda kikuangalia anaona. It is headache, persistent headache. Kichwa inakuuma kila mara unameza pana dolu hakuna, unameza headaches hakuna, wanapima malaria hakuna ndani, wanafanya nini hakuna. Persistent headache. 
is one sign of burnout. Ni na hakika katikati yetu tuko ndani tunapitia hiyo shida. Mungu akusaidie. Tutoke ndani, tupone, tuendelee mbele. Kwa sababu kama kichwa inakuuma kila wakati, utafikiria kweli? Utafanya kazi kweli? Kwa pengine umelala kwa sababu wewe ni mgonjwa. Then you are stagnant. Your life will be stagnant. Your family itagwama. Hata fisi haitapatikana. Another physical sign fatigue. Fatigue ni ile uchovu ya kupita kiasi. Wewe ukiamka asubuhi umechoka. Yaani wewe ulikuwa unalala the whole day unapumzika, lakini ukiamka asubuhi umechoka. Ukiamua tuende hata sokoni umechoka. Kwambie tuende kanisani unaamka tu asubuhi unataka kwenda kanisani Jumapili lakini ah, umechoka. Unasikia umechoka bila kufanya chochote all the time you feel you are very tired na utafanya chochote you are sick. Umefikia burnout. Na unapofika mahali hapo it's dangerous. Another thing is frequent illness. Kila saa wewe ni mgonjwa. Kila saa fulani mgonjwa. Kila saa muombee fulani mgonjwa. Kila saa fulani mgonjwa. Na saa zingine hata kienda hospitali akipima unapata hakuna kitu inamsumbua. Hakuna kitu kabisa ndani ya damu yake. Huyo mtu amefikia burnout, he is suffering, ni afaa tuangalie. And what does the Bible say about delay and sickness? Proverbs 3:12. Proverbs 3:12. Mefika. Susome. Neno linasema Haleluya. Kama mjafika hapo wacha tuendelee mbele. Ingine katika physical ni changes in appetite and sleep. Changes in appetite and sleep. Mtu mwenye amefikia burnout anajipata either analala sana mpaka kama ni mwanamke unashindwa kwani Mungu amekukumbuka. Kila wakati ukienda kwa kamelani kila wakati ukimpigia simu anaongea na sauti ya chini ni kwani iko nini nilikuwa napumzika yani anashinda akilala sana na kama si kulala sana usingizi inapotea completely unatafuta usingizi kutafuta na haipatikani unameza mpaka vitu vya kulalisha kama mapiriton na haulali nataka ujue kwamba hapo umefikia ahali mbaya ukikuja kwa emotional signs zile za kujihisi na unahisi ndani mwako you cannot explain muta hawezi kuona wewe ndio una feel ndani mwako mpaka unasikia saa zingine msusumuko mwingine hata unasikia ndio ama ufanye nini emotional helplessness yani una feel wewe hauna mahana na hauchiwezi na hauwezi saidika na hakuna mwenye atakusaidia yani you just feel helpless uweze kujisaidia na muta hawezi kusaidia na ukishafika katika hali hiyo hauna nafasi ya kutoka kwenda kufanya kazi hauna nafasi ya kusimama kufanya vyenye vinavyotakikana because utabaki you are stagnant your life will remain there because you know you cannot be helped and you cannot help yourself ya pili ni sense of failure or self doubt yani kwa maisha yako unaonanga tu wewe <laughs> wewe hoshi abula Yaani sasa hata wewe nini kitu gani kweli unaweza fanya? Mpaka hata wewe mwenyewe unajua sasa mimi hata wakiniambia niende kazi nitafanyaje kazi siwezi. Hata wakiniambia ni siwezi na self doubt. Una doubt wewe mwenyewe. But leo watu kuwauliza waseme eh na shamasi ataweza hii kweli. Wewe mwenyewe unasema na mimi nitaweza hii kweli. Self doubt inakupeleka mahali pabaya. Another thing is feeling alone in the world. Yani you just feel you are, you are alone. 
Uko pamoja na wengine jini tuko hivi. But kwa akili zako, it's like you are just alone. Usha fika mahali, unaongelesha mtu. Unamuongelesha a respond. Unamuongelesha mezubalia kitu hivi. Unamusa wewe, sina kuongelesha. Hmm? Hmm? Sio kitu wa inafanyika. That person is sick. And that person amefikia stagnation nila mbae me sukuma pale na burn out. You feel alone though we are with others. You feel alone in the world. Chunga usifike mali pale. Ya mwisho behavioral. Hile kitabia. Yani ukuputa kikuangalia naona. Eh, na fulani sikuhisa mebadilika. Na hii fulani sikuhisi ya nakaaje. Number one, reduce the performance in daily duties. Daily tasks. Ukisha fika hapa mali pa behavior zako zimebadilika. Anji. Hata utaki kukalia machine yako kushona sweta. Ukisikia kukaa pale kushona sweta. Ah. Nitashona badai. Yanu roo imetoka hata kwa kazi. Ukona shida hauna pesa. Unaitiwa kazi nani? Apu enje Josephine kuja kuna kazi hapa. Muta nasema nataka mfanyi kazi. Unasema misi taki kazi. Yo kazi ni ngumu. Uko ni mbali. Mimi sienti. Uko sina fea. Yani umefika mahali penye. Hautaki kufanya chochote. Yapo lingine behavioral. Withdrawal or isolation. Inafika mahali umo withdraw tu kwa watu. Utaki watu. Umeji isolate from people. Yani unataka kukaa tu peke yako. Kama tumeka hapa wawili hivi, watatu hivi, unajisikia tu wawuko sawa hapo. Nataka tu niende kusikia brizu. Unachukua kitu, unawacha watu, unaenda kukaa peke yako hivi. Unapo kaa pale wengine watakuja wa kujoini, muanza kupika story, muange, muange. Kidogo utaki kukua hapo, unachoka unajia isolate. You are sick. And if you are isolate yourself like that, my dear, you are stagnant in life. Na hauta songa. Kwa sababu unapo kana wengine, watu wanakupatia maono mengine, muna janga mkana katika kuongea, na unapata, unapata new visions, na unasonga mbele. But if you are alone, na tayari umekuama, umeshidwa, who will help you? Mwane Yesu asifiwe. The last one on behavior role, ni burst out. Outburst. Outburst. Yani wewe, uko tu ready kulipuka. Muta kuambie kwa tu, eh, Mama direct, na nalewa uko smart. Badila kusema asanti. Unavitini utasema? Wachanga kunichezea. Muna penda kunipima akili. Iyo kuwa nyei kwa hapi ya nyei umeona niko smart. Sasa shida ilikuwa nini? Makosa kapisa hapo ni nini? Nime kuambia tu mama direct na uko smart. Lakini umepasuka ndani watu shirini. Uko na shida. Apart from kupasuka na kulipuka na kugombani, umeza. Eh, unalia mpaka watu wanashangia sasa huyu, tunamusaidi aje na tunampembeleza aje. Na makunani ya memukosea, na memfanya nini. Ukichungusha vizuri, makosa mzuri ya kuna lakini. Mpaka unashinda nyasaya, kufanyeje. That person. Anatikia burnout. Life has no meaning anymore. Na anaweza hata kujinyonga. Na anaweza hata kujirusha mtoni. Na anaweza kukunyu wa sumu. Kwa sababu maisha imeguama, haoni maendeleo, haoni mbele, haoni nyuma, kila kitu inapo. That one will lead you to serious stagnation. Because you are not thinking, you are not working, you are not talking, you are not. Hallelujah. Buwana Yesu asifiri. But the theme is overcoming the spirit of stagnation. How do we overcome now? As I finalize. How do we overcome stagnation? One thing. You should know you are not alone in this situation. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I said, Tuko wengi, maybe 75% of us are in that situation. Si wewe peke yako. Ni wengi wanaangaika. Jipe moyo, chikaze, simama, endelea. Maisha itaendelea. Wacha kukuama malipale kwa sababu siti wewe peke yako. Na hiyo inakuleta kwa number two. Become inspired again. Hallelujah. Jichangamushi, jitie moyo mara tena. 
Nisema hii ninaweza na nataka kufanya. Siwezi kwama hapa. I must move on and life must continue. Jipe moyo. Jipe moyo. Jitie nguvu. Bibi nasema na miguu iliyolekeza itiwe nguvu na hata mikono yenye melekewa itiwe nguvu. Unapoje expire again itakuwa mzuri. Number three, try a new thing. Jaribu kitu kingine. I talked about my dichoma. Umengangana nayo imeshindikana. Jaribu sukuma. Umekatakata sukuma inafika mali inaoza unamwaga. Jaribu nyanya. Jaribu cereal. Try something. Jaribu kitu kingine mpya na unaona kuna mahali pene njia itafungukia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wacha kukwama mali pale ukisema isehoshi abula. Ah ah. Simama kwa miguu yako tembea endelea mbele na itakuwa sawa. Hoshi abula. Number four, vocalize what bothers you. Talk, talk about what is bothering you. Ongea na mtu, kama ni bibi ya mekuekea stress, uwezi kumuwa kwa nyumba, pana ongelesha kila mtu, but look for somebody you trust. Talk about it. Mwamiku kukuangu silali, mwanamuka akisha figure wakitanda, nikelele, 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 story zote, mimi silali, ananikombeza, nataka hii, nataka hii, na mimi sina nifanyeje, pasta nifanyeje. Maybe I'll have a way to help you. Lakini ukijinyamazia, sasa hii ni yangu tu niko kambele, nisumwene, niko kambele. Kuna unyo mnyora na ibanga hivo. Kuamba haya amenitosha tu mimi tu, itakuwa. Mbwa na yesa asifiwe. And lastly, mako ni mengi, lakini wacha ni kuambie hii. Concentrate on what you want. Not on other people's goals. Hallelujah. Amen. To come out of stagnation, concentrate on what you want. And concentrate on one thing at a time. Apana nataka nyumba, nataka gari, nataka bibi, nataka mtoto at the same time, nataka, nataka shamba, nataka at the same time na hauna pesa, hauna kazi kwanza. Utazipata wapi? Siyo ni taanza kukuwa. Kama unataka gari, unataka nyumbo, unataka shamba, hizo zote ni pesa na hauna kazi. Concentrate on looking for a job. Kwanza. Hallelujah. Ukisha pata kazi, utapata pesa. Hiyo pesa yako, utafuta shamba kidogo, inatoshana na pesa yako. Hapana taka pesa kubwa enye pasta ya napatanga. Hapana pati pesa kubwa ili enye shamasi ya napatanga kwa mjengo. Kwa sabi yeni contractor na napo kaji ni kunegoshet. Haujua menye goshet ki wangogani. Kwe unataka kuchishindanisha na ye. Su utapasuka msanga. Kwa na yesu asifiwe. Su utashangana wewe mwenyewe. Don't concentrate on other people's goals. Concentrate on your own goal and vision. Na hapo mungu atakusaidia. Nataka na kuambie. Finally, listen to God. Pray and turn. Hallelujah. Sikisa mungu anasema nini. Omba huyo mungu. Geuka maishani jithi neno linavo sema. Continue to your opportunities. For the door is wide open. For you to enter. Ijapo kuna wengi wana kuzuilia. But kama umegeuka na umesema unaenda. There is a force that will force you. Kuingia katika opportunities zako. Wacha kulegea, legea na kusema isi kwa shenye dadu kwa kushiesi. Hakuna shenye imefika hapa. Enzi bado inakuja. Haichafika, mwisho wa dunia wangu umefika. Ukitaka tujue mwisho wa dunia wako umefika, kufa. Ukisha kufa, mambo yako itakuwa imeisha. Lakini kama bado unaishi, omba mungu. Soma neno la mungu. Omba. Sikiza neno linasema nini. Be the doer of the word and it shall bless you. Hakika wana wa Israel walipo ambiwa geukeni na muendele. Wali geuka na wakaendele. Na niposa walienda wakaingia katika kanani. Kama hawange keuka na wakaanza kutembea. Wange guama maalipani. Hawange ona baraka zao. Hawange ona kanani. They stayed that place too long because it was a good place. It was a peaceful place. It was very comfortable. Lakini mungu had better things for them ahead. Mungu akona mambo mazuri mbele yetu. Mungu anatuwazia mambo ya liyo mazuri. Wilderness is just but a pathway. 
to home. Pana kwama katika wilderness. Wilderness is just a way to show you that it is difficult, yes. It is hard, yes. It is horrible, yes. But it is possible. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Ukijivika moya kusema it is possible. Hakuna siku utashindwa. Lakini ukijifunga kamba. Umefunga leso ama umefunga mshipi tumbo imekaza. Mimi tu na shida shida na mimi. Mpaka ifika mahali usemi mimi matatizo nimezoea. Mimi hata nikisikia watu wakisema mambo ya kasi ya mambo mimi hata inihusu. Kazi ni sahau. Mimi nimejaribu mpaka nimechoka. Nimejaribu mpaka nimeshindwa sasa hata sitaki kufikiria maana ushindwe. Toka huko. Changamuka. Pita katika wilderness. Enda Kanaan. The blessings are waiting for you. Come out of the wilderness. God is commanding us to go forward. Make progress in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Progress in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Develop in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Move forward and make growth in your life in Jesus' name. Na hautafanya kama umekaa chini unaimba tu. Boerwe makono elirenje. Munwa kwanje sikula maroma. Simoni sianje sitiraroda. Mami wanje umbu. Utalia. Utalia umu ya mwami wako. Na hata kusaidia. Mbaka siku hile utamua hii mikuwe nye mefungwa utoe ndani kamba. Mbaka hii mikono nye mefungwa utoe ndani hizo chains. Diposa mungu atabariki kazi ya mikono yako. Diposa God will order your steps. Diposa neno la mungu litakuwa muangaza kwa mikuwe yako. Na litakuwa nuru katika njia yako. Kwa sababu umeondoka unatembea. Lakini ukikuwama pale mpendwa, utaimba imbo zote za uzuni na uruma. And they'll do nothing to you. Mwani ya sasifina. Nikifika hapo na kuambia. It is time of overcoming the spirit of stagnation. It is you to stand up and work on it. Nobody will work on it for you. It is you yourself to say yes I do. And it will be done in Jesus name. Simama kwa miku yako. Umejua kama umefikia burn out? Umejua kama wendo umeanza kuwa batik, umejua kama wendo umeanza kuwa na headaches, we umejua kama wendo unajihisi helpless kila wakati, we wendo unajihisi failure unajua, we wendo umefikia outbursts unajua, na jambo gani limekufikisha hapo ni shida, ni matatizo, ni ukosefu, ni umasikini, ni kukosa kazi, ni shida plus, 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 plus. Zime kufanya, unajihisi jinzu ulifu, but God is faithful. Mpendwa God is faithful. Mungu ni muaminifu. Anataka kutenda mema. Anakuwa muru toka katika jangwa. Anakuwa muru songa mbeni. Anakuwa muru kanani kuna maziwa. Anakuwa muru kanani kuna asali. Wewe ni atuwa yako nukusimama na kugeuka. Na kuelekea katika iji ya asali. Pendo fungua kinywa chako ongea na mungu. Ongea na mungu wako. Mwaga roo yako mbele ya mwenyezi mungu. Yele majungu na mazitu wa mbele kuwa na kufungua. Ya achilie mbele za mwenyezi mungu. Ya mwake katika mzua wana. Ili baba kaweze kutetea. Ili baba kaweze kutenda mema. Ili kaweze kubariki. Ili kaweze kufikisha katika yu asali. Mlangu mefunguka mpendwa. Fanya bidi ya kuingia dhani. Mabonjo anda kunasa kila wakati. Umeshigo ukibilie nani. Ushigo ufanya nini. Mungu yuko pamoja nani.
ufananishi wewe ni mwema wewe ni mwema haulinganishwi wewe ni mwema mwana wamenyenyekea baba wakinua sauti zao mbele zako unajua sauti ya kila mmoja unajua ombi la kila mmoja unajua hitaji la kila mmoja dada huyu namkabidhi mkononi mwako baba nikijua kwamba unamuelewa vyema maisha yake mali yamegwama katika jina la Yesu kaweze kufungua 
Behold, Shetan and Pago Zake, if you listen to Mifungo Yaki, the delay and stagnation, then you may share Yaki and Namo Sasa, Katika Jina, and I ask you to go as a Kushindra, Babo Kosa Kumutemelian or Kosa Kumuka, Ufukua was a Babu and Mungu, Asanta Kamama, who are Baman in a catching of Muyako, Babo Mamuka Kamaleta Katka Mutu, Yakayota Mekaka Katka Mutu and Tabua Bab. Na kuomba Yesu kuweze kufungua maisha yake. Roho ya kufungwa, roho ya kuchelewa, roho ya lahana ambayo imekwama ndani ya maisha yake na hata kizazi chake inaikuja kinyume chake na kemea na lahana na ngoa katika jina la Yesu ikaweze kushindwa. Yesu kamfungue kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu. Asante kwa dada huyu na mweka mbele zako. Baba yangu unajua hitaji la moyo wake. Mala amefungwa, mala amekwama, mali amechelewa. Baba wewe unaweza kumuondoa. Nachukua mifungu vyote vya lahana na shetani na mbango yake ambayo imemkwamisha katika hali hii inakataa na ngoa na sabaratisha katika jina la Yesu ikaweze kushindwa. Yesu kuweze kumtawala. Mtende mema kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu. Asante kwa dada huyu mikononi mwa Baba yangu unamjua unamuelewa mala amekwama mala amefungwa unajua Yesu mwana wa Mungu kaweze kumkwamua vifungu vyote vya shetani laana matamshi ya watu katika jina la Yesu ikaweze kushindwa Yesu kamtawale ukamwinue kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu Kutano kwa jumla iko mbele zako baba kanisa kwa jumla naliweka mkononi mwako mfalme mahali kanisa limefungwa na midomo ya wanadamu Walio sema kwamba hawataendelea, walio sema kwamba tutaona, walio sema kwamba hawezi songa, inakataa midomo hizo za watu wasiofaa katika jina la Yesu ikaweze kushindwa. Vifungu vya kanisa hili kwa watu waliotangulia hapa, wakasema sisi ndio tuweka msingi na sisi ndio kusema, wakafunga kanisa ninakataa ninangoa. Waliotoka na majozi katika madhibahu haya, wakatoka wakinungunika wakisema tutaona katika jina la Yesu wakaweze kushindwa. Midomo ya laada hiyo na ikemea na ingoa na iteka nyara sasa Popote inazungukia yes. kanisa hili Hata wezi kutokea mlango huu na ule kuja kuiba Hili kuturundisha nyuma na kataa kubu hizo na arimo Na kemea katika jina la yesu ikaweze kushindo Watu wako mkononi mwako baba Watoto wako wote mkononi mwako yesu yes. Kila moja mekuja na mizigo yake yes. Kila moja mefungwa katika njia mbali mbali Baba wafungwe kwa sabu wewe ni mungu Unaitaji kazi wapatie kazi Unaitaji watoto wapatie watoto Unaitaji wachumba wapatie jehova Unaitaji baraka bali bali fungu wa jehova Wewe ni mungu liye muaminifu Asande baba mana unatenda Mchana waleo umebaki kuwa mungu Winulia utakake na utuhulu kuke milele Katika jina la yesu krista liye mokozi ni meomu Amen Haleluya, haleluya, haleluya Mshangili ya yesu wape Mshangili ya buwana mpe Mungu ni muaminifu wana kufungua Munga anaweka minyarori ya mifungu mbahari Tamu sasa na kuendelewa ubarikiwe Tamu sasa na kuendelewa ufunguliwe Tamu sasa na kuendelewa ufunguliwe Kutana na baraka zako Kutana na baraka zako Kutana na baraka zako Katika jina la Yesu Christ Amen